you're programming using the Arduino IDE and you find that you're using the same function over and over again, you can put it in the Arduino IDE libraries folder and access it from any sketch. So for example here if I'm in Arduino IDE and there's a method I want and instead of typing it in, it in, I can simply access it from the library by including it here. So let's start with code first. I'll show you a little program put together. It's a simple function written in C++ that will find the number of occurrences of a letter in an array. So here's the class file here. You're going to pass in an array, send in the size of the array, and then the letter in which you want to check if it occurs in the array. So it's just a simple loop that um, increases the number of occurrences every time it's found. In the header file, here it is, function declaration. I always recommend that if you have a header file that may be called by multiple different places in a project, go ahead and put a header guard in there so that's in there. Here's a little main class to test it out. So I just created a word, the apple. I'm going to call it. There's the array, the size of the array, and I'm going to search for the occurrences of the letter E. So it should uh, return three E's there. Let's go ahead and just compile this. I already compiled it before, but let's do it again. return the number of occurrences is three. All right, that's good. So if you want to include this in the Arduino library, here's what you do. First, you need to find out where your Arduino libraries folder is. And one way to do that is simply in our Arduino ID, go to File, Preferences. It'll have a spec, uh, sketchbook location. Here's the location on my computer. So we'll go there. We'll go to home Arduino and in here is a, uh, a directory or folder called libraries. Go ahead and open that up. As you can see here I have some ones that you may may look familiar. For example here's Adafruit. Let's go ahead and open it up and you can see that they have C++ and header files in here. They also have a utility which is also C++ and header files. So this is how you're going to do it. Go ahead and create a folder in here. I call this H3Utils. Open it up and then I put my code in here, the one that we looked at before, C++ and header files. And I also included an examples folder in here. When you use Arduino IDE, you probably notice that there's a file examples menu option here. And if you scroll down you can see all your choices here and here are the ones from the third parties the custom libraries that I just showed you and here is the one that I created called h3utils and then there's a little basic here in this examples folder there's another folder called basic and in here it's a file of the same name which is a sketch so I created a little sketch and then saved it here to the examples folder so once you put your code in the libraries you need to restart Arduino IDE, that way it picks it up the next time. So let's go ahead and run this. And I'll just use the examples here to load it. That way we can test that on our new library. So it'll open up a new sketch. Open this up a bit. And it includes the character util.h. The one thing you can do when you're in your class and you're coding you can go to sketch, include library, then go to the library that you added, choose it, and then it inputs it puts the include file there for you. So if you remember we created a method or a function called find number of occurrences. So we're just gonna here's here's how to call it from your your um, Arduino sketch. Now that you've included the, the character file, and then we're going to send the output to serial that way we can see it uh, let's see let's go ahead and upload this I've got uh, Arduino plugged in and 
let's go to serial monitor. And what are we looking for here? Word capacitor, number of occurrences of the letter C, which should be 212. All right, and it's easy to do that. Well, if you have some functions that you're using over and over again, you want to be able to access them easily from Sketch, you should consider putting them in Arduino library. That's all I have for this video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching. Thank you.